exceedingly game-like, come to think of it. Even this conversation we're having right now feels like an RPG trope. Right now? You feel it too, don't you? It's like we're just a few scenes from the ending. Wonder how many games I've got that I've given up on right before the ending. I totally get what you're saying. And I finally understand why I've never been able to clear all those games. I didn't want them to end. I wanted to keep on adventuring forever. I'd rather do that than save the world. You mean... But this is a story we have to end. I'm no player this time. I'm one of the heroes of this story. <laughs> well, a party member at least. Yamato. But why? Why is it that even if I do save the world, nobody's gonna remember it? So what? Even if nobody remembers we still saved the world, we can honestly tell people that too. Not if we don't remember doing it. How can we gloat if we don't even remember what we did? I think you know the answer to that. Just keep the Chuni spirit alive in your heart. Hey, you stepping? No, I'm not stepping, you dweeb. What I'm saying is, it's always been our destiny to save the world. That's just the role we've been given. Huh? In all the stories you've encountered, how many people have wound up saving the world? A lot. And after they did, how many were even accepted into the worlds they saved? I see your point. All the protagonists we've fallen in love with over the years have met with fates just like ours, haven't they? Yeah. Yeah, I guess they did. And they're always saving the world without anybody knowing about it. See? And weren't they much more awesome for having done it that way? Ha. <laughs> no need to get rhetorical. We both know the answer to that. Of course we do. Then I'll just have to join them. I'll save the world, then disappear into the annals of history. A nameless hero, existing only in legend. I figured I'd find you here. Hi, Asahi. Hey, do you remember? When we were little, we used to always make up secret bases to play around in. Of course I remember. We'd bring our most precious treasures into them so we could protect them with our lives. Oh, so we're calling those treasures now? What do you mean? Well, it seemed like all you ever brought were dirty magazines. But really? Wait, you seriously forgot about that? N no, I just... Didn't exactly want to remember that part, I guess. Well, once this is all over, neither of us is going to remember a whole lot. Even if we try, we'll forget it all. Mizuki. Everything about this long, looping day that I got to spend with you and your friends. And everything about Boss, Akari, and Aoi. Does that mean you're not planning on... No, not at all. Don't worry. Boss and the twins wouldn't want me to let them stand in the way of the truth. Personally... I'm proud of my delusion. The Freedom Fighters wanted to protect Akihabara. And that's exactly what they did. And they did it well. Or so I'd like to think, anyway. They did. But there's one thing I can't quite accept. What's that? When Boss said the Freedom Fighters were disbanded. I can't accept that. Because even right this very minute, I'm performing my duties as the sub-boss of the Akihabara Freedom Fighters. You haven't gone home yet either, huh? I've been considering that this might be our final encounter and just wanted to come here for some reason. Yeah. Hey, Asahi. Even if our memories of spending time with everyone disappear, do you think you'll still find me? I thought finding people was your job. No, not for this one. 
you're the one who found me, not the other way around. Or maybe I should say that you found the other me, the one I could never bring myself to tell anyone about, which is why I want you to find me again. If today does wind up being the end, I don't know if I can make it on my own. I was only able to be honest about myself because you were there for me. It was a pretty embarrassing time for me, but thank you. Hey, what are you saying all of a sudden? Come on, don't get all blushy and make this weird. I'm thanking you, so just accept it. You're gonna make me blush too. S sorry. But I guess that's the one thing about you that hasn't changed in this whole ordeal, isn't it? Yeah. For everything I've learned and all the character growth I've gone through, I'm still just a neat. Well, as a savior of Akihabara, I'd say you're a pretty rare breed. Well, I wouldn't be doing any of that if I hadn't met you, Saki. So, thanks. Huh? Uh, no, that's not... Hmm? Come on, you're turning red now. You can't be so cavalier about saying such embarrassing stuff. He's thanking you, just accept it, right? But pink -hoon? Don't tell me you forgot it was here. Sheesh. I stay quiet for a bit and you get lost in each other's eyes. Th that's not true, dingus. Yeah. Now you're stealing my lines? <laughs> there we go, Saki. I like seeing you laugh at Asahi way more than seeing you blush over something. pink -hoon. But I wanted to say the same thing. Hold on, what were we talking about again? We were thanking each other, dingus lord. Sheesh. <laughs> I knew that. I was just messing with you. I refuse to believe the lies of a neat. Okay, simmer down now. No need to get fussy. Go right ahead. Go ahead and what? Huh? You just said you wanted to say thank you. Go ahead. I'm all ears. I don't have to thank you for Jack. I want to thank Saki. Seriously? N me You bet. A proper thank you has been a long time coming. Thank you for finding me, for one thing. No. I should be thanking you for finding me, even when I wasn't there for you. You still kept waiting for me and believing in me, didn't you? Of course I did. After all, I'm a familiar with a storied and honorable history bound to your family line, like I keep saying. Thank you, pink -hoon. But what prompted this all of a sudden? Well, I saw the two of you getting all mushy and I decided I wanted in. Besides, I also kind of felt like I had to say something, you know? I do. Since you're hanging around, I guess there's something I want to say to you too, Asahi. Could you have phrased that in a way that made me sound any more like an afterthought? Well, you are, so... Yeah, yeah, what is it? Thank you for believing in Saki. Huh? It's just an incidental bit of extra thanks, remember? I don't want to make a big deal out of it or anything. I mean, I won't, but why even bring it up in the first place? You believed in something pretty out there. It was a reality that sounded a lot like delusion, but you believed it. It's not like I didn't have my doubts. That's not it, though. You also believed in Saki the whole time she was gone. And that made me really happy. Yeah, no die believed in her. Yeah. I mean, we're friends. Asahi. I want to thank you too, pink -kun. Yeah, you better thank me. I want to thank you for... Wait. Now that I think about it, you didn't really do anything, did you? Come on, I'm the cute mascot character. Just having me around is more than enough. I lift your stupid spirits. <laughs> I guess you do. I mean it too. Having you around really does make things a lot better, so thank you. Mm-hmm. There we go. What do you say we head home now? I'm tired. Have a good night, Asahi. Saki? What is it? Have you decided what you want to do? Yeah. And this is just a what if. Just saying. But if all our memories together were to get wiped out, would you come find me again? For real? Yeah. It's just a what if, but if it happens, I promise you I will. I will find you. Then I'll promise you too. I'll try to find you again. That's the tomorrow I'm going to strive for. <laughs>